What's up? Y'all already know what it is. It's KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at you fellas again with that motherfucking heat. Oh, yeah. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin to the back of the motherfucking neck, holding it down, locking it down, submerging it down with that motherfucking gang, my dude. Damn right. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. As soon as I'm done with these videos, pipe in high status, you'll get it down your phone and to your ear on Ear Candy Gang. Yeah. If you got any comments, Remember to get at me in my Gmail if you want your questions answered in a professional manner. Hit me in the Gmail. Damn right. I'm all ears. Um, you can holler at me at YouTube or whatever, but the Gmail. That's where it's at. If you want to join my social media site, any one of them, get at me in the DM so I know who you are so we can avoid these trolls. And remember to comment after every video. I don't give a fuck what it is. Comment, hit them likes, man. Let's get these subscribers up. So we can go live to get on their motherfucking neck for real. Damn right. Yeah. You want to hear me go out? I'm a, Man, I'm going off on them. Let's go. And uh, remember, if you got any questions, you got any concerns or whatever, I'm all ears. Holler at me. Get at me in the Gmail. Get with me. Now let's touch bases. There's no gray areas in this game. Fuck compromising with these chicks. And that's real. Fuck compromising with them. There's no gray areas. We men. It's either white or black. If it ain't white or black, bitch, you must go. And that's real shit. Are you going to get on board? Yeah. <clears throat> Check this out. She's either going to get down or lay down. You know? Remember that uh, state property shit? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck her ultimatums or compromising with her. If you allow yourself to compromise with them... They'll instantly peep your weakness like a predator to a prey. Damn right. Oh, man. You don't want to do that. You know, because they'll take it an extra mile. You'll give them that little foot, they go on a mile with it. You know, then you look up, you find finding everything being reversed on you. Everything's happening on your end and not their end. You get me? And uh, I was somewhat put in a situation like that. Well, I ain't going to say putting this there because I allow myself to be in a situation like that. Fucking with this chick. I had to break loose, you know what I'm saying? And let her know, you know, that's ain't no compromising, man. But at first, when I was younger, I thought that would be the game. You know, uh, giving your woman what she want and what she earned, what she deserves and shit, you know. She want to move in. She want to go 50-50. She want to do this. She want to do that. And you compromise with that instead of finding yourself doing what you want and everything comes off how you want to do it. Because that's how it's supposed to go. you the man. you the leader. But when I was young, I didn't have that game. Oh, I'm gamed up like a motherfucker now, so ain't no chick getting ready to run that on me. You know what I'm saying? No ultimatums, none of that shit. That don't happen. And you fellas must break that. You cannot allow these women... They give you ultimatums or put you in a compromising situation to where you find yourself giving up everything that you got just to soothe the situation to make her happy. It's not worth it. Be a man and everything will fall in place for you. Real shit. You know, I literally just witnessed a dude that stays up when well, they banging them firecrackers, ain't they? <laughs> them ladies or wherever the motherfuckers are. Like I was saying, I literally just witnessed a dude that stays up the street from me, you know, <clears throat> just get his compromise and situation reversed on him. Oh, yeah. And I told dude, I'm like, man, look here. You on your own property, man. You got your own shit going. I know you got a girlfriend, but don't move her in, bro. You ain't ready for that, man. You're not ready for that. You got too much shit going on. You ain't ready for that. And they used to argue so much, man. You could tell she was over there visiting. <clears throat> they have argued, fight, bitch ass, nigga, bitch. And I'm like, what the fuck? And you going, huh? Let's talk about it, man. You know? He owns a house up the block from me. His girlfriend been bugging him about moving in. And I told him I don't believe that would be a good idea yet. You know, I told him. That won't be a shit raggedy as my... I told him that won't be a good idea yet. You know? If you know this dude like I do, you would not just, you know, you would not suggest her to move in. Like I said, they argue a lot. They used to beef so much, man. You know? 
They should argue like a motherfucker damn near every time she would visit him. Yeah. Like a motherfucker. And she had a son. So he was more so, um, man, but man, you ain't understanding, man. I'm feeling it. I've been knowing her for this long, that long, man. I'm like, okay. You know, what happened with the situation where she got a baby by another guy? You know, you've been knowing that long. Yeah. Yeah, man, we fucked around when we was younger, but we ended up breaking up. We ended up getting back, and she ended up having a child, you know, during our breakup. We was, you know, I ain't been fucking around for a couple of years or whatever. Boom, 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 oh, yeah. But he ain't got no children. <clears throat> and he work, he do his thing. And she see that. She latches on to that. And she tries her best, best to break him down and bring his whole shit to a non-existence. You know what I'm saying? She do. You know, she should scream that shit out. Nigga, you think you the shit because you making thirty dollars an hour? I fuck that up. I do this. I do that. I come to your job. I'm like, damn. But then they had times where they'd be cool. You know, they be out chilling doing them. You know, on the porch or you know how they do what they doing them. You know, they be cool. But then it be fucked up time. So you fellas must learn from that. When you find yourself in a situation like that, to where you know. That wet box might be that heat. You don't want to give it up. You don't want to let that go. But at the same time, you must understand that um, your mind can play tricks on you. Even though you don't want to give that shit up, it's that heat. She put it on you. She may tell you everything you need to hear. You know, you might feel that she's helping you when she's not, you know, and she's not really doing shit. You're not missing her. If she was a lead now, what would you be missing? Think about it. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know that because you're so attached to her. You're so attached to the bullshit. So you feel like this is of you. This is of your life. Instead of letting that shit go and let her be a burden to the next motherfucker. And you start over smooth with something else or, you know, by yourself. And, you know, he don't want to listen. Then you fellas, you probably don't want to listen until you go down through it, until you get sick and tired. A lot of guys don't get it until they're tired. Until they go down through there. And let's get to this shit. You know. Like a simp. He will use gray areas. And you know for an excuse to move her in. Oh man. She's going to pay my bills. She'll be cooking for me every night. We can start off. You know with this property I got. And build from there. Knowing goddamn well a bitch want a ready made dude. She don't want to build with you man. She wants the shit already done. You know what, what they say. Why you building? She at the finish line with the rest of the bitches doing their nails waiting on you so they can jump on the gravy train. Fuck out of here. That ain't gonna happen. You know, your shit's in order. She's coming up with nothing. You know, but, you know, like I said, he gotta see that. You know? I mean, this dude had every excuse besides looking at it through a logical lens. The logical way to see the situation is that the bitch is trouble. She's definitely coming empty handed. She'll probably pay the first month's bill, you know, bills in cash. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And I'm going, and I'm going to squeeze a nigga. I'm going to squeeze a, uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, the eagle on the motherfucking, uh, what's that, on a quarter? I'm going to squeeze the eagle's motherfucking neck on that because I don't think she's going to do that. But, you know, it's just a chance she might give up something just to baby man and show him, hey, look, I can do something. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But, um. Uh, like I said, she'll probably pay the first month bill in cash and the next month, you know, bills and and further on until infinity. <laughs> It'd be just with pussy and a headache. That's it. Sex and a headache. That's all he's going to get. I guarantee you. I had to tell him that. He didn't want to listen. I told him that. Dude, I guarantee you, that's all you're going to get is pussy and a headache. Man, I don't know, man. She got a good job, bro. She, you know, I got a good job, man. But shit, if she gonna help pay the bills. And plus, you know, that's in-house right there, man. I can be nailing. I'm like, okay. Check game. Now that he's been in jail behind the bitch. <laughs> a few times. I'm trying to tell her. Yeah, you know. Replaced windows and walls. And a broken door. Her son has fucked up. Real shit. Putting holes in the walls and all that shit. Busted a couple in it. He got a patio, right? It's patio window. His son, uh, her son fucked it up. 
the patio windows. You know, <laughs> like he's, you know, <sighs> he's definitely learned his lesson. Women are not, well, you know, <clears throat> let me repeat this. Women are not made to be compromised with. They are made to be led. <laughs> Plus, she never paid him back for the, you know, for her son tearing up his property, fucking up some shit. She ain't gave him shit, you know. She ain't gave him nothing but a headache, some pussy, you know. They don't even fuck around no more. <laughs> She's on with her life, doing her, and he's doing him, you know. He still got the property, you know. He don't stay there no more. He rented it out to somebody, and he moved to another. Uh, that's another house he got. You know, but, you know, hey, it's crazy. In my opinion, compromising with them only gives them the power to somewhat control you or the situation. It's no different than that 50-50 talk these dudes be on. I'm going to go 50-50 with my girl. Come on, that's compromising, bro. Fuck that shit. You know, you see, you're going to you get down or you're going to lay down. White or black. Ain't no gray areas in this shit. I mean, fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You know, knowing that she'd be running... You know, the show after a week or two, talking to 50 50 shit, she be bouncing, she be running your shit, you be paying everything. Yeah. Especially you know, when she hold that monkey back on you, nigga. I ain't fucking with you no more. You got me. I ain't gonna have sex with y'all, baby. <laughs> Niggas do anything for that shit. What men need to understand is that it's strictly white or black errors dealing with women. As women, <clears throat> Now, as women, they need to do what's expected of them or kick rocks in no gray areas. That's just real shit. Can't no chick on this earth do what I do or even try to do what I do. I'm the man. I'm the lead, bitch. That's what it is. Flat out. So I'm not about to compromise anything just to make her feel special. Not at all. Because at the end of the day, feeling is just a feeling. She just want to feel special for that time and moment. A feeling is just a feeling. And bills are bills. <laughs> that shit got to still keep getting paid. Taxes are taxes. You, stop, you know, got to still keep getting paid. Fixing up your property. You know, things, you know, wear and tear. You still got to fix that shit. Can't take none of that shit to Home Depot. Can't take that pussy to Home Depot. That shit she talking, that head, whatever else that she got, she can't take that to Home Depot. You can't take that shit to the light company, the gas company, the water company, cable company, whatever else you got going on. You paying bills in your property. You can't take none of that shit to them. So fuck what she talking about. Fuck compromise. You either going to get down or you going to lay down. Like this shit, share this shit, subscribe. It's the motherfucking message. Holla. Good. Good.